All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for SSSS Gridman, Episode 2. Okay. So Just saying that every time is going to make me laugh. Just the idea of SSSSSSSSSS. Gridman. So this, we have started this show. And and it is very much into the cheesy, like, old robot versus monsters thing. And there's elements of mystery. But we haven't actually gotten any answers to any of those mysteries yet. Yes. Well, we have just introduced the characters. We've yep. introduced the entire kind mm-hmm. of formula, probably, for the episodes. Right. We've got the whole kaiju insertion. Mm-hmm. We have the whole visions of Godzilla. Right. And I love, basically, that we have the whole kind of image of what type of show this is going to be from the get-go. Yep. We have no, mm-hmm. like... <laughs> like confusion as to like what kind of thing this will be uh-huh. um the mystery elements of it are more around like what has value what things are meaning uh-huh. what but where do the grid, uh, where does the grid man come from and like why is it that that our main character can see these monsters but other people or well <laughs> the godzilla one um but other people can't right yeah and yeah, he's yeah. got the he's got the kind of crew of friends that we're mm-hmm. going to basically just get to kind of explore this whole weird world together with. Right. And uh and there's some sort of nefarious other person that's causing yes. a lot of this stuff to happen. Yes, there is another human element to this mm-hmm. that uh is yeah. antagonistic. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah, first episode kind of gave us the full picture there, but I'm yep. looking forward to more uh smash them crazy and uh with, unique with old CG. style cg yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah stuff for uh for this whole experience <laughs> so yeah grid man mm-hmm. next episode without further ado let's get into it kaiju hmm huh <gasps> <gasps> they don't know anything about it Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. This is all a video game. Wait. Wait, what? Alright. Alright. No. Wait. Who's that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Wow. All right. <laughs> Screw that. Then <And> open it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> the Good Man Alliance. <laughs> oh, kawaii koto. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you see his face. I'm really glad. That... <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Wait. Uh, catch up. Well, what about the blood? What was that? Oh, oh gotcha. Gotcha. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what was that voice? You are fun now. <laughs> Remember to use condoms. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your mission is that girl you were talking to. Whoa. Wait. Wasn't that like the bad grid man that we saw earlier? Yeah, I think so. Whoa, wait a minute. All these toys. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. What if all these toys are basically are the kaiju? The, yeah, the kaiju that are coming out? What the heck? Okay. This could be like an extremely meta story about some kid yeah. basically playing God as being like, oh, toys, Rawr! monsters fight Gridman, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love how like how how much more we're getting this episode because like the first episode was kind of like you know fairly basic setup with a couple mysteries, but mm-hmm. now it's like we're starting to get the nature of some of the mysteries. I, I mean, maybe. Oh, here's our resident weirdo looking yeah. guy. So much. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> that was so good. He's totally an alien. <laughs> the voice acting there is just amazing. <laughs> Why is it so yeah. funny? It's such a simple game. What the? He just he just jumped up. I I love him. I love him so much. He's so stupid. Oh, good. He can see it. Okay. Oh,今日学校に来てなかったみたいで。当たり前でしょう。うちの子、中学生の時亡くなってるんですけど。Whoa, dang. Uh, yeah, that's that's mm-hmm. cruel. Like, imagine being the poor dad is just like, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, we saw your daughter. He's like, that's a sick prank. Don't, yeah, don't come over here and do that. And got the same responses probably. I love this though because they're. Oh my god. Oh, okay. She didn't like them, right? Remember how they one of them oh. smushed her, her. Yeah. Uh, the sandwich? That's right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it sets the stakes of like, okay, we have to save these people because they'll actually die. <laughs> Dang. Oh, okay. So she makes these too. Yeah. That's creepy. I I gotta I love say, it though. I, I, I absolutely I love, it. love it. Like, yeah. oh man. Tanoskatakotomotsenbukiatapte.Nanoni.Watashdaketsutowasrelanainate.Oh I love this whole dynamic there. Yeah. Here. And. Oh! Okay. And, and the. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But the, the voice. Of... Yeah. <laughs> like, he's, he's Inferno Cop, he's in yeah. Lubico. Yeah. Like, like. Holy crap. Wow. And there's an actual mechanic, like a reason in the story of why the kaiju look kind of like yeah. quirky and weird and odd. Right. You know? Oh my god. Jesus. Holy shit. Oh my god. She is such an entertaining antagonist. Yes. People already had with that laser blast, probably. <laughs> I was waiting for this moment. <laughs> Who is this guy exactly? Like, I know he said his name, but. Samurai <laughs> Kaliba. I love these tracks. This, yeah. This like heroic oh, music. Oh man. Oh, this is great. <laughs> wow. Of course. All the combining. That's right. Alright. Yeah, do the Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So it's not quite the same. It's not drawing it across. Do you even just... see the Evangelion crosses and stuff? Oh yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess not. Of course the homeroom teacher is still alive. You can't just have the homeroom teacher die. No. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Yes! yes! 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. This is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally a video game. Yep, it's oh man, I love it so much. Jeez. <laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs
All right, here we go. Like uh, the whole twist with Akane being the one behind the monsters, I love, I that love it so much. much. Yes, it's so good. I love it so much. And with the, the toys, yeah, with the toys, and, and she creates them, and uh, there's all the trash yeah, bags. And yeah, stuff. yeah, like and and the whole thing of the her talking to the space patrol Luluko. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's his name? Uh, Chief Over Justice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and 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 also in Inferno. Uh-huh. basically like like the but oh man mm, and it's, this is this is just fantastic like this is this is pure trigger right this here. is pure and, trigger and, having uh, pure saturday morning cartoon fun just fun and and also oh, making man. fun of a lot of other mecha things yes, like a yes. lot of other mm. things with this type of this type and of we got format. the op and uh ed this episode and i gotta say i am glad at the the presence and abundance of drills in the op mm-hmm. that that does my heart a lot of good mm-hmm. and the whole thing of like the the <laughs> you know and like the sword and the way they did it in basically the exact same oh, like, yeah. shot as for the thread stripper you oh know? yeah like oh man so many references oh, man like this is just yeah, we you cannot uh, watch this without uh, having watched a lot of kind of Saturday morning cartoons and just Gurren triggering Leon, general, in general. Kill uh, a kill, kill a kill. Yeah, um, even in some ways going back all the way to uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion a little. Sure, bit. yeah, they like it's just oh man, mm, mm. and I'm sure there's so many references we're not even yeah, we're getting. not even getting like this is just this is so good. This is so good. I'm so glad I picked this show. Like ah. <laughs> It's uh, so silly too. I love. Yes, it, it is absolutely uh, silly and ridiculous, but it's amazing. And, okay. And like in the homeroom teach, or no, sorry, he's not the homeroom teacher. Right. But he's basically the, he's he's basically all of all of nudist beach like consolidated into no, one. His name character. is Samurai Kaliba. Samurai Kaliba. That's <laughs> such a ridiculous extra name. Yeah. He's clearly an alien. But I love how him being introduced. No questions about that. Yep. Where'd you come mm-hmm. from? Who are you? Why do you Where'd have you all these abilities? With this yep. sword, mm-hmm. all that. Nope. Yep. Nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a friend well, of Grid. All the different swords and and the <laughs> the gag of him walking through the door. the door and all the different swords just <laughs> uh, like okay when they did that in Konosuba like yes. with Kazuma yeah. I absolutely loved that I loved I that died. to death it's right so wonderful. the fact that he's so extra uh, and has all these swords right and right. it's like I am totally a badass right yeah but with the like hands in his pockets right, right. They're like and spike spiegel over, you know like you know, elbows and back just, like, and just hopping uh, up a building you know um, without letting his hands come out of his pockets right right you know but at the same time being so completely clueless like because it's not just <laughs> that that happened because that's wonderful but that happened <laughs> yes. again and you get the feeling this happens literally every time he goes through a doorway because he keeps he, he has those swords there right. and like he would never take those off you know you know mm-hmm. that Sounds like someone who has short-term memory loss. Oh, and that's how they, that's how in Trigger style, they take all of the the things that are like just pointless gags, you yeah, think. Yeah, you think. And then tie them into everything. Nudist Whoa. beach, why nudist beach? No, it's important. It's important. And this whole thing, yeah, it's all memory loss, you know, and him trying to like get the bead or whatever it right. was out of the bottle and just being like. Right. And then eventually just slicing it off. It's like, <laughs> that, oh man. Mm. Like. This is this this is just wonderful. I, yes, yes, this is so great. good. This is now, great. now we want to go a little bit hard into the theory crafting uh-huh. regarding the whole idea of a simulation. But before that, let's kind of discuss what big things changed here. We now have a face for our antagonist. Yes, and Akane is someone that is involved with the school, mm-hmm. but she is specifically targeting people with her kaiju mm-hmm. that she creates. And right. then projects into reality. Using with, probably the same technology as for the grid men. Well, it's not her technology, though. The point is that she's in commune, she's in connection, right. communication with another being grid of sorts man. that might be a grid man type yeah. being. Uh huh, right. Now, here's the thing. Mm hmm. Why is she being given this kind of whole right. thing? Who there? knows? It's because only kids can pilot the mechs. And, well, and, and I believe the opening basically confirmed that that is a gridman type thing because i think we saw it at some point in its mech form fighting and stuff something like um, that yeah. potentially uh the yes uh-huh well uh, but continue with what okay you're i was basically thinking that the whole reason why she's an, an important character this whole thing is not just because we need to have a framework for having the the kids be basically dealing with their peers you know uh-huh 
and have it be actually right. relevant in that yep, respect. Yep. But also that she was the first character shown in the show. Yes. She had a little bit of a yep. vision or something like that. And she actually drew specific kind of kind of connotations to the whole idea of Utah's memory loss when uh-huh. they had the little yeah, sandwich yeah. Oh, it's basically thing. like you're a, you're a transfer student then. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And yeah. she had this meta knowledge basically right. yep. of the whole thing to and where it's basically like mm-hmm. she is the whole character. Yeah. It's not even that uh-huh. any of these people are real. She's just playing with her toys basically. Right. And, like, and doesn't the, that sound like what you did, like as a kid? You know, you basically have your little uh, kaiju, yep, yep. and then and here comes Gridman. But he's uh, got the big sword. You know. Oh, now I'm gonna destroy the city. Uh huh. Yeah. But I will defeat you with the power of my and, friends and, 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 and my and, sword. Right. And and the thing yeah, is, is that go. is that when you play with those toys, you're constantly more invested in the bad guys than in the good guys and it's like oh yeah and there's the good guy that's like yeah i'm a good guy and, and then it's the mm. bad guy that's rah, doing all this stuff you know and like but that's that's the thing that's uh-huh. the thing is that it might be that is that on some level maybe akane just thinks that she's playing with her toys or no, maybe it's because she of, cheered when she found out that they were uh, dead. that's that's true she cheered like that that's that was true. the th- like because oh man I the whole uh, everything that they they are doing with Akane I absolutely love because it's yeah. not just the because one the dynamic between her and her Gridman Gurren Lagann Chief Over Justice you know <laughs> yes like, like I'll, just call, so good. I'll just call him Chief Over Justice right right but like like that is fantastic I love when they have good character dynamics between the antagonists like yeah. that is that is just wonderful it reminds me of like Isma and Kronk or something like that right <laughs> she even is has like a purple color scheme and everything but. Then on top of that, on top of that, uh, it's the contradiction of the fact that, like, of of her character. It's like, oh, she's just bubbly and whatever. And originally, the way it was set up, and, like, because I figured they were going to be doing a lot of references to, like, Evangelion, I was like, wait, is this going to be the Ray character? That's she, what I like, said, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Is yeah, that, yeah. that what you said? Yeah. yeah. But at the beginning, you know, because she's not saying anything and she just sees this stuff happen, right? right. But really, that's probably, like, showing how she got her powers in the first place, you know? Right. Or, yeah, connected with this super exactly being chief over and, and maybe and maybe that's how they could end up doing some like sweet thing where where it's that she was like a shut in and, and like you know her her life wasn't going mm-hmm. too great and then suddenly this thing shows up and is like oh, I can give you power you know or whatever and then stuff happens and then and then yeah. maybe that's how it can all be stopped by the power of friendship because she just needs friends or something you know yeah but I mean she has a lot of people that she doesn't like who yeah. does she mm-hmm. like right Yuta, exactly uh huh and was mm-hmm. that just to gather information about the whole grid and you know mm, I don't kaiju so. rumor or whatever i mean you know, it could be but you know it seems like there's other stuff too because she like and again she you know, tried the, to give him a sandwich she tried to give him a sandwich and is that related to the fact that he doesn't have any memories it could be because she might be the person that's doing all the repairing and wiping and memories and stuff but it's not working on them so then you know who knows there's lots of things that we don't know here yeah and and i'm just really glad that she's not a kudere because because i the most of the time what? I don't, you no no because the, you no, because here's the thing I don't like it when Kudere's are done just for the sake of having a Kudere, which I didn't like Ray. Um, but the so so I'm glad that she's not a Kudere because that would have I just felt it would have been too token. Whereas this is just so unique with what they're doing. It's just like this whole show just oozes personality. I mean, I you love could, it. You could say that it's extremely derivative as well. Sure. But that's the thing, is that it's shamelessly derivative. Right. And and, yet and that's trigger that. also. Right. And trigger is derivative of itself yeah. after a certain point, yep. which is then mm-hmm. derivative of older mecha right. robots and, kind of you yeah. know and the whole mighty thing, morphin, you know, kind of all that stuff. And the weird thing is that it almost it like the, there's also the part of it that feels kind of like a callback to like the older shows because the main characters, like like okay, our main character. <laughs> completely uninteresting right he's bread right but but fine we'll, we'll see what this bread does bread can be right. tasty you know um if i and, can do it i must do it <laughs> right exactly but they but they but then they gave stakes they gave real stakes where it's like your friends are, are being killed and no one you know no one remembers that they were alive just yesterday ah. you know it's like that's that's fantastic to make it so that the struggle feels <laughs> are these even your real. friends who cares that's well, the right. wrong question yeah yeah exactly yeah. it's like these people are gone like right. and and yeah so so and then the and then the whole like 
best friend kind of a thing who's mm-hmm. clearly just to be sort of the other dude in the show sure. that doesn't have any chance for the ladies to not threaten the harem, you know? Right. Um, That's why they all thank, uh, you know, Utah for being exactly. such a savior of right. humanity. Because, because he clearly... I mean, he's the one piloting He's Grid the one Man. piloting Gridman, but is it arbitrary of why he's the one piloting Gridman, as far as we know? Absolutely. You well, know, but not anymore necessarily. Well, but, yeah. It might be that Akane chose Utah... And it's uh-huh. basically well, like saying, like you know, Akane, there's so many things they can you know, do you, here. You, oh yeah, there's a lot. Like, there's a lot. Oh boy, this is actually a great show for theories uh-huh. because the show weird. is just <laughs> stupid enough in certain ways that yeah. it's like, they, they wait, can, you can't they, take any of the theories seriously. Or but what if you have to take all of them right. seriously? And I feel like th- that they like with Kill a Kill, it was something where it sort of surprises you, right? And then it's like, oh, there's all this extra stuff to it, right? Whereas, uh, at the, like, sure, you know, it's but like the it, style tells you the, a the lot. The style as well. was very like thematic and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. and, and whatnot. But like, I did, I personally didn't expect it to go so literal with all with a lot of the stuff that they ended up doing, right? Oh, um, gotcha. By like episode sixteen or seventeen. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. right. Whereas with this, right. it's like episode two, boom, there we go. Like, and yeah, and, that's true. And you, it's because it's, it's a one core show. It's a one core show, which is a great point, you know. Um, but like, oh man, oh man, I, I just, I, <laughs> I, I love this. I love this so much, you know? Uh, yeah. I love as we like watch more and more anime, your style starts to become even more apparent to me than it was to begin with. Yeah. Because this is a show that I'm having so much fun with uh, as well, mm. but I now know why you're having so much fun uh-huh. with this. Like, Cause I know why I'm having so much fun with this. And you and I have very different styles when it comes to anime that, yes, we, that, we, uh-huh. that we think of as like. Right. Some of our most enjoyable yeah, shows. It, our, 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 our tastes are so similar in a lot of cases that the places where they're different, it's very different. It's very different, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And and this show oh, had man. everything in this mm. second episode that I think a show should have in the early episodes right. so that you understand why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah, And, and all mm-hmm. of it, I think, could be attributed to just the Akane reveal. Yeah. If you wanted to. There's other things in here as well. But, uh-huh. but they handled that... Like, so dang like, well. The, I'm I'm it's as so excited. Good. I'm I'm as excited for interactions between Akane and o- Chief Overjustice as I am basically in the uh in the UBW abridged for interactions between Rin and Archer. Like oh. like <laughs> like that's like that's basically how I see this here. Is you've you know it's like you've got the actually Satan basically, and then you've got the person who's actually crazy and actually Satan is pretty reasonable, you know. And right. then and then you've got the girl that's just that's just absolutely psycho and is like I'm gonna do all this stuff and it's like Are you sure about that? You know. Oh man, this is just mm, mm, this is this is so good. This is mm, ah man man. Like I feel like the one reason why maybe this show ended up going under a lot of people's radars is because of the first episode. Like, like really? Yeah, I think people give it at least a couple episodes. I I would hope so, but like, cause like I I couldn't see how someone would get to this episode and not be completely obsessed. With oh, the show. I totally like, know how people could. Oh, no, yeah? I totally know how people could. Oh. This show is not serious enough, and the characters are sure. very very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah, maybe. And that's the thing. That's the thing. Just because the show has certain things in it that you generally need for a story, Mm -hmm. I think that you're right in that the enjoyment engagement level of what the art that we're being presented with Mm -hmm. not the literal art of the show because actually i made a made a joke of one of the parts where yuta's eyes were just kind of like (laughs) for a specific part but actually just the presentation of what we're getting here is so fun oh yeah that i I don't know Mm -hmm. why you would stop like it's it's just mm. yeah story 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 in a lot of ways is something that we kind of put up with as an excuse in order to make the less than presentation part of it more engaging this is a bit of a okay. crack theory here okay. but i think in a lot of ways the reason why rpgs mm-hmm. have like you know some of those great rpgs out there you, we can still enjoy them nowadays and stuff like that even though the presentation for like the visuals and the mm-hmm. music the all that other stuff can be a little bit lackluster is because the story covers up basically so much of that yes and mm-hmm. in this we're getting basically the the fan service oh. like just good classic fun of right. rock'em sock'em robots yep. you know mm-hmm. with 
transformations and bright lights and explosions oh, and yeah. big kaijus yeah. and oh it and, reflected and, the laser and, oh and it reflected that, the laser you didn't all, see that coming yeah, did you all that goodness mm-hmm. what's the story well who, who knows cares? who knows no i like, i think it genuinely does matter that's why oh, okay. i'm engaged in this story beyond just the well yeah the crazy and, dynamic and of the, the the visuals and stuff is actually i find the mystery part of it engaging yes yes the mystery part of it is absolutely fantastic Tickles. right yes yes that and 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 just but like okay here's the thing though here's the thing though with how they set up with how they set up the characters yes specifically akane as uh-huh. an antagonist I kind of don't care. <laughs> like, sure, like, sure, that's totally like, valid. Like, yeah, just have Akane and 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 Samurai Caliber and all of this. Like, oh man, oh, and it's gonna get oh, crazier. Man. We saw yeah. Samurai Caliber's squad. Yeah, like, yeah, he's got a squad. That's well, why he said we. Like, there's a right. there's a squad of them coming in. Uh huh. And Nudist Beach is coming back right, with, with suits with suits and psychopath like basically psychopath style like outfits and weapons yeah didn't their didn't their outfits and like just overall look remind you kind of of psychopaths it, well more of, more of the more of the 3d uh for the kaiju in this episode reminded me of psychopaths wait what yeah like the 3d for the dominators mm-hmm. yep yep oh with like the the blue lights and all the the moving parts and stuff and whatnot, huh. like the the 3D in this in this show is really cool. And and other yeah. like before Land of the Lustrous, the two examples of great 3D that I would think of was Fate Zero Berserker and mm-hmm. Dominators and Psychopaths. You know, yeah, Fate Zero Berserker is one of the best, but that had all the smoky stuff to kind right. of uh-huh. make to... it look less bad. Also, right, it kind of covered up the because particle effects is where 3D just shines. Yeah, but actually, I kind of think it reminded me a little bit of how in um kind of an old school kind of cartoons and things like that they would blend um someone was someone was telling me about this basically there's this uh whole genre basically of where they would blend kind of the cg with live action in these types of you know kids basically kind of uh, okay kids shows and stuff like that it's where the whole mighty Morphin, you know power rangers and stuff like that came from ah uh, gotcha like that. and okay. this show is basically a callback to that in a lot of ways gotcha. but because it's originally on a 2d animation you and then know, they element just make there. it 3d for when they do the, the mm-hmm. battles nice. right and that's something that you can definitely tell the contrast of that when you look at the um like the backgrounds but but the backgrounds aren't moving so it's not something mm-hmm. where it really feels too jarring well, yeah it makes so it, it makes the monsters themselves just pop, pop off the yeah. screen yeah exactly right. which is what it should do yeah yes mm-hmm. yes but it but it's it's odd because generally speaking cg mixes badly with uh um, right 2d but they actually haven't ever really mixed so far fully the 2d and the 3d together right like they've had they've had basically 2d images static images right. uh-huh. that's just the backdrop the backdrop or whatever. uh-huh but yeah the actual like having something in the environment that is you know 2d mm-hmm. animation and 3d animation at the same time they haven't so if right. something else is like if anything else it's just that they found a way to somehow sidestep the whole problem mm-hmm. by just not having it be even a thing like yeah. we're in fight mode now everything right. is 3d that's moving yep. like yep. you can definitely tell when like the buildings are destroyed and the pieces of wood and everything like flies off to the side and stuff and you're like ah there's the trickier cg that's right. not uh-huh. as easy to yeah animate properly or the laser like the laser eh, probably wasn't hard eh. but like no but, that mm. that yeah like, i don't think you expect much of no, that i'm no, talking about motion you know oh, oh like, yeah 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 definitely no I, yeah <laughs> like but it, it's just one of those things where it's like okay the idea of like a laser being shot you know right. from like a giant robot yeah. giant kaiju whatever right yeah it's so um how shall i say that is one of the l- things that i am the least interested to see when i think about the concept of like a like a kaiju robot battle or whatever like you know it's it seems like like it's the kind of thing that that can that you can be so oversaturated with right that it ends up just being a, meaningless just right? a single color being sent out exactly yeah yeah exactly wave. right um Your dragon ball z stuff is getting right. triggered or, or or bleach or you know or whatever you know like is like, the energy blast in general yeah true. yeah exactly i thought right. i was salty about bleach no, no <laughs> but the thing is is that because because it's like it just you know 
at the beginning it's cool and then it's just sort of like okay whatever right whereas here it's like okay no 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 we're having this fight 3d well it's 3d yeah Yeah, like that's what i say they make it look really good well yeah you were saying earlier that you said it didn't look good no no i'm saying it probably wasn't hard to do like 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 i'm guessing uh, like doing but, doing a, a laser in 3d is, is probably a lot easier than doing like like uh like mass collateral damage you know i think oh okay like you know yeah. just because right you know, like it, it's light stuff you know as opposed to as opposed to like more physics but that doesn't make it look bad or anything. oh no 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 i'm just saying that like if, if it was something that they had to like uh like stress over in in like producing it you know huh but yeah okay Gotcha. Um, well, hey, we've got uh, our well, we've got our basically our main cast mm-hmm. now established because we now have an actual put, uh, antagonist, and she's amazing. And she's amazing. <laughs> she's amazing. <laughs> like, like, oh man. I have to know. I have to know. <laughs> how meta are they gonna go with this? I don't know. Because I genuinely think Jacob, they're gonna uh-huh. go really hard meta with this. They probably will. Like just and in it's the two be episodes. Incredible. Yeah, mm-hmm. they've done a lot. They so, have. so which which version are we gonna call it now? Do we have real people in a simulation, or everything is a simulation? I have no idea. You said you basically I, wanted to go the, in and say that none of this is real, or 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 at the very least that's it could potentially all be a video game because because here's the thing that makes me think okay that, right trigger what's the thing that trigger loves to do go to space right they like to you know like like the reality breaking you know like just take it to the next crazier and crazier level right right uh-huh. how would they do that in this uh-huh. they could go to space i suppose but that that wouldn't even seem like that big of a leap considering that they're already dealing with giant mechs and kaiju and things like that right that wouldn't sure. that wouldn't be anything wondrous right whereas with something like kill a kill going to mm-hmm. space is a big deal right mm-hmm. gurren lagan they started literally underground right and and with gurren lagan it, it wasn't the going to space it was the you know the interdimensional whatevers and things like that right? right so if they did something like that but I think the equivalent of that would be basically this is a video game, and then we're going right. to bust through the video game or something like that. Um, hey, I don't even know how that would work. Hey, but I, I love it. Like, I, I love it. Oh man, the whole oh, man. thing though of the 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 little gags basically leading to the whole thing of the the memory loss or kind of like the level resetting kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It 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 just works. I I do like the idea of there being though some kind of chaos basically factor with akane being whatever the simulation is Mm -hmm. akane is screwing with it yeah and Uh this is the thing yuta might be like an avatar for the main character basically for all we know but there is a continuity with what is happening in the memory sequence of things because i would say on some level there's the whole Gridman element with this. And Gridman might only be in here as a mechanic to basically ward off the the craziness of what Akane is doing. Sure. So I think you could almost reverse engineer that and go, well, wait a minute. Like, what would happen if Akane wasn't here? What are the things that would remain as conflict sources outside of that? And you door ha- frames. You would go back to. I'm, I'm being serious, Jacob. Okay. Mm-hmm. You go back to the fact that Yuta woke up with a memory issue. Mm-hmm. The opposite, basically, that he was aware that he had a memory issue. Mm-hmm. He woke up. He's like, "Whoa, I've, I've had some memory yeah, loss yeah. and stuff like that." And everyone else is like, "Huh?" Right. And then, he's with Rico. Uh, well, yeah, I, but, I don't yeah, think, so I don't think that's happened. really important. But yeah. the, 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 the point is that he can see also these kaiju mm-hmm. that are like uh, petrified remnants of something that yeah. happened in the past. And they're like big Godzilla type, mm-hmm. like, right. you know, kaiju. That doesn't seem like an Akane thing. Probably not. So I think there's two incursions into the simulation. Mm-hmm. Utah is one, Akane is the other. And that's how they can continually make it hyper and hyper because right. they have the stuff with Akane, but then there's Chief Overjustice, and then potentially where all this stuff came from if they wanted to get well, even pull it, pull it back even farther. Uh huh. You know, so. Yeah, I think Chief Overjustice is actually part of the simulation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Because assuming seems, it's a simulation. Assuming like, it's a simulation, like, yeah. Because, yeah. because, like, like I, I love the idea of it that of it being a simulation, but they could also not have it be a simulation. Yeah. Um. Because then I, I think I think Gridman kind of fits in that realm as well. Uh huh. Because they it's, are like even if Gridman might be like the name of this particular one, you know, whatever yeah. we want to call them, mechs or you know something or what have you. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's yeah. a Gridman. Loving this show. This really is, fun. Oh stuff. man, and I. And but again, I, I can't believe we're getting so much discussion out like, of this wacky show. I know, so, I know. And but yeah, uh, Akane is amazing. Her yes, yes. Akane is good. Absolutely fantastic. So y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction oh, discussion boy. of this show right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. Mm-hmm. You can get on early access there. Friday, we have no issues with copyright. You can get on full length yes. reactions there as well and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us about these shows about trigger shows you know all kinds of other mecha stuff anime in general or jacob's book that he just finished writing yes battle lines my sci-fi novel it's available for purchase on amazon link in the description go check it out get mm-hmm. yourself a copy it's pretty great i think you'll be surprised yeah yeah so if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.